Now that his payment methods are set up, Nick needs to set up his tax information in the back office. Nick, have you set up your tax information yet? No, it sounds complicated. Can you help me, Professor Silver? Of course. NCR Silver Pro Restaurant Edition has made it easy to set up and report your taxes. You can set up anything from a simple sales tax to more complex local tax requirements such as state, city, county, etc. To get started, select Settings, then Taxes in the back office. Creating tax categories and then assigning tax categories to the items you sell ensures you will be charging and collecting the required taxes for your business. When your account was set up, a default no tax category was created, which is great when you don't need to charge tax for certain items. But you can create multiple tax categories, tax jurisdictions, and even selling locations. That's a great feature. We will get started by setting up a new tax category. Professor Silver, what is a tax category? Great question, Nick. One example of a tax category is sales tax. Most states require businesses to collect a sales tax on certain items. We will set that up right now. Select Add a Tax Category. Name the category. In this case, we can name it Sales Tax. Select the box next to Make This My Default Tax Category. Does that mean when I ring up an item in the POS, it will automatically be charged a sales tax? Yes. Any items assigned to this sales tax category will automatically apply your local tax rate to your tickets. Setting a default tax category makes it easy to collect the right tax when you start adding items to your menu. You can always change the tax category of an item in the back office if necessary. I will show you how to do that a little later. After you select Done, the new tax category will appear on the screen. Type in the tax percentage under the sales tax heading and select Save at the bottom of the screen. Notice the star next to the sales tax category. This indicates your default tax category. That is so easy, but I like to keep the prices of some items, like beer and cocktails, to an even dollar amount by including the tax. Pro Restaurant can help with that too, by making an inclusive tax category. Let's create one for your alcohol sales now. Add a new tax category and name it Alcohol Sales Tax. Check the Make This an Inclusive Tax box. Alcohol has a higher sales tax in your state, so this will be set at 10%. When you add an item that has an inclusive tax, you can set the price of that item and Pro Restaurant will include the calculated tax into that total price for the customer. For example, if you set the price of your bottled beer to $4, the tax is calculated at $0.36. Cents because the net sale for that beer is $3.64. Your net sale amount, $3.64, plus the calculated tax, $0.36, cents, equals the total price of $4. This is really useful for restaurants and bars that have a high volume of customers, so the cashier doesn't have to spend extra time counting out change. That's a great feature. I'm glad I don't have to do the math myself, especially because our drink specials are changing all the time. Professor Silver, my state requires me to use a sales tax table for non-alcohol sales. 
Can Pro Restaurant help me charge and track taxes correctly according to my state's tax table? It sure can. From the taxes screen, select the tax tables tab. Then select Add Tax Table and give it a name. We will call this one 6% Sales Tax Table. You will first need to determine the repetition period for your rate. The repetition period refers to the size of the period required for the tax table to repeat itself. This table for a 6% tax repeats every dollar, but this table for 6.5% repeats every $2. Because your rate is 6%, we will enter 1 under repetition period and then enter 6 under tax for period. Professor Silver, what is the start repetition field for? Some states may tax the initial amount, usually the first dollar, differently than the remaining amount. Your state does not do this, however, so we will leave it as zero. The breakpoint is where you will enter the range within each cent the repetition period is taxed. We will click on the green button to create the first breakpoint. Looking at the 6% sales tax table, we can see that a charge between 0 and 9 cents is not charged a tax. We will leave the first breakpoint as a zero. Now we'll select the green button again to create the next breakpoint. This one is for the range of charges that result in a one cent sales tax. The sales tax table shows that charges between 10 cents and 24 cents will result in a one cent sales tax. We need only to enter the lowest value in the range, 10 cents. Okay, I see now. I am entering just the first number in each row of my state's tax table. We will select the green button again to create the next breakpoint and continue to input the range for each cent of tax until we have accounted for all breakpoints in the repetition period. When finished, do not forget to select Save Changes. We have created the 6% sales tax table, but have not yet applied it. On the Taxes tab, select the gray button next to the sales tax percentage. Then, select the 6% sales tax table from the drop-down menu and select Done. That only took a minute to set up, and now I will not have to manually look up the sales tax in my table anymore. What a relief! You should check your local tax laws to make sure you are charging and collecting the appropriate taxes. Did you know that some areas, cities, or counties have their own distinct regulations for taxing consumers? I did not know that. These are known as tax jurisdictions, and with Pro Restaurant, they are easy to set up. To set up tax jurisdictions, select the pencil icon next to the name of your location. Then select, this location uses multiple tax jurisdictions. Name the jurisdictions and type in the tax rate for each new jurisdiction. You must have at least two jurisdictions to use this feature. That is so easy. Do the different tax jurisdictions appear on the customer receipts? They do. They also appear on the back office tax report.
Professor Silver, I've been thinking about opening a Nick's Common Room food truck. What do I do if the places I travel to have different tax rates? That is a great question. Pro Restaurant allows you to create multiple selling locations with unique tax rates. That way, businesses that sell in multiple tax jurisdictions can use the same item inventory but charge different tax rates. When your food truck moves to a different location, just tell the system where you are selling from today and the POS will charge the appropriate tax rate. To add a new selling location, select Add a Location and give the location a unique name. You can even select whether this location uses multiple jurisdictions. Then type in the tax rates for the new location. Every tax rate field is required, so be sure not to leave anything blank. Setting up your tax information is quick and easy with Pro Restaurant. And do not forget, if you need additional help setting up your tax categories, do not hesitate to contact your Silver Concierge team. Nick has just finished setting up his taxes in the back office. He can add new tax categories, tax tables, inclusive taxes, jurisdictions, and selling locations. Next, he will create pay-in and pay-out codes and set up a new charge.